Hey, what's up you guys? I'm Sarah Labrat. I finished the reread of the second draft of my Project DE yesterday, as in like last night. And so now, after celebrating a little bit, I get to look towards the future and try and figure out how I want to tackle this rewrite that I have planned. This rewrite is going to be taking up October and November, and hopefully not too much more than that, but I understand that things change. Today, I have a couple of things planned. The first is unboxing my brand new microphone that I bought because I wanted to upgrade for life Live streams. I wanted my audio to be better as well as using this for a couple other things which I'm really excited about. So momentarily I'm going to unbox this and then I'm going to be starting to prepare for the rewrite in two other ways including making a map to help me track my progress so that I try and take this massive rewrite in like smaller chunks and doses rather than trying to think about the fact that I'm trying to rewrite an entire 106,000 word manuscript. And then I'm actually going to take some time to reread all of the notes that I took during the reread so that I can make note of things that still need names and like overall plot fixes. That way I don't start this rewrite without having an idea of the true overarching plot. So without further ado, let's open my brand new microphone. <laughs> I did decide to get like a decently cheap microphone just because I wanted to upgrade my sound a little bit, but also didn't want to spend like $600 on a microphone. So this one was, I think $99, which I think is like a really good beginner microphone. If I really end up liking it further down the road, then I can always upgrade it to something more. But this is like my actual like true beginner microphone, which I'm really excited about. Here we have the box. Cute. I got the Yeti Nano. I'm so excited. It looks so cute online. I got the shadow gray color and I'm very excited about it. This is obviously not sponsored. I don't think my channel is currently big enough to get sponsored. If Yeti ever wants to sponsor me though, like hit me up. There's a lot that goes into trying to buy a microphone because there's absolutely just like so much out there. But my brother who's much more tech savvy and like actually knows what terms mean and stuff when looking at audio production and everything, I asked him for direction and he said that this was like a good beginner microphone that if I wanted to spend a little bit of money but not a ton of money this is the one that i should get and so therefore i bought it this was also supposed to not show up for another week um because they were supposedly out of stock but i am not complaining then there's this foam piece and then here it is oh it's right there it's so exciting it is like i mean i don't know what i was expecting but that is like solidly built <gasps> it's so cute Oh my gosh, it's so cute. Oh, it's so cute. Oh, that's so cute. Oh my gosh. Wow, y'all, this looks like so official. That's so cute. Oh my gosh, yes. This is so freaking cute. <laughs> and that's when she knew she messed up. <laughs> Did I just drop it? Yes, thankfully I have carpet. Yikes. Okay, wow, I'm so excited. I feel like kind of like a legitimate YouTuber now that I have a microphone. I still record on my phone, but like now at least I have like a legit mic. This is so cool. It's so cute. So now we are here in my writing room and I'm going to be taking these blank pieces of paper and turning them into my map, kind of like game board almost thing, where I'm going to be tracking my progress for the reread. However, I do not have a ruler, so this might get really interesting very quickly. And this idea is kind of inspired by like trackers and stuff that I've seen on Pinterest where people are trying to like run a certain number of miles in a month or a year or something, or even people who are trying to like lose weight. And so they have a bunch of like goal weights in boxes that then they get to like color in when they get to that goal weight or whatever. I'm not doing that. Obviously I'm making this for the reread. So every 500 or a thousand words, I'm going to get to color in something because my project is 106,000 words. I think I'm going to do thousands because that's already 106 boxes, which means I need probably about 53 per page page, maybe fewer if I do more than two pages, but I'm not entirely sure yet. So I'm going to get to making this and then I will decide and come back and tell you guys what I decided to do. Okay, so this is what my map is currently looking like. I love it. And I'm currently at 96 different spaces. I originally thought that these like dots on the exclamation points were going to be their own, but I think they're too small. So I'm just gonna count this as one, that is one, and that is one. But if that brings me to a total of 96 spaces so far, now I need to add 10 more. Well, 
11 more technically for the little bit extra after like the 106,000 because it's not exactly 106,000. So I'm gonna add 11 more spaces. I kind of want to do something fun, but I also kind of want to keep it consistent. We'll see. All right, this is what I ended up with. Cute. I decided I wanted to stagger these last 11 just to take up a little bit more space. But also when I get there, it'll be really encouraging to kind of speed along that. Now that I have kind of mapped this out, I do wanna go through with either a pencil or like a very finely tipped pen and write in each thousand mark that I will be achieving when I get to color this in. And then honestly, I should probably order like some fun markers or something. I have colored pencils. Ooh, I could do like a watercolor or something. This is gonna be very fun, but I am gonna take the time to go through and fill out what milestone, milestones, every thousand words basically, each of these are going Going to be so that it's very easy for me to like make sure that I'm in the right spot when I get to fill this out so that this is more of a fun thing and not a stressful thing. So I messed up somewhere. Apparently I can't count because I just got to 106,000 and that's right here. You can see my like tiny little numbers in there and stuff, but I just got to 106,000 and that's right there and I still have five left. So I massively miscounted somewhere, which is honestly fair because math is hard, which I want to make a compilation of me saying that at some point because I've definitely said that a lot in my videos. Oh my gosh, okay. I mean like I'm definitely gonna be adding words to this project in this rewrite. Like that is completely unavoidable. I think maybe I'm just gonna leave them there. Huh, interesting. I think I'm gonna leave them there. I'm gonna fill out one more box with like the odd change. That's kind of weird to say about words, but the odd change after the 106,000 into this space and then I'll have four left over. I'm just gonna leave those blank right now because I really don't wanna redo this because I really like how it looks, which is awesome. This is cool. This is so freaking cool. So in this last box, because my project is 106,124 words, that is the number that I will be putting in this box. 106,124. Now this mapping thing is done. Progress mapping, maybe that's what I should call it. Progress mapping. Now that I'm done progress mapping, and that is this, you can see all of my little numbers written in there for every single thousand included in that 106,124 words that my reread of DE was for draft two going into draft three now. And so the next step into going into draft three is to do the rereading of my rereading notes. Because I made notes on every single page of the reread, I want to go through and make a document, I think, about all of the big plot things that I need to change, things that still need to be named, things that need to be moved around so that I have an even more comprehensive view of the things that I need to do for this rewrite. <laughs> okay. Okay, so I just tried to figure out if there was a way that you could see how many comments you put in a document and I figured it out, you can. But what I learned is that I have 1,015 comments on this 226 page document. But I guess there's only actually one way to get through these 1,015 comments and that is to start at the beginning. I was able to read the first 38 pages of notes that I left for myself in like 10 minutes, which is amazing. So I just spent another 40 minutes rereading my notes from the reread and I did pages 39 to 113. So this is flying by. However, I am going to go to bed now and I will finish rereading my notes tomorrow. It's a new day. My turmeric latte has been made and I'm going to finish rereading the last 112, come on, pages today. Or again, rereading the rereading notes of the last 112 pages today. 
just spent 35 minutes on it and I got from page 114 to page 162. I'm currently making an apple crisp as part of a celebration of finishing this reread. And so while that is in the oven, I'm going to start up here again at page 162 and try to see how far I can get to the end of rereading the rereading notes. I love saying that so much. <laughs> I just finished rereading the notes. Oh my gosh, okay. So I unboxed my microphone, that <laughs> was so cool. And then I made my map that I'm gonna track every thousand words that I rewrite in this draft three. And then I just finished rereading all of the rereading notes. I feel prepared and like that was so cool. It took me about two days to reread all of the notes that I took and it just feels so good. That almost gave me like a bigger immediate picture it was almost like reading through a summary because as i was like skimming through the notes i was getting like a basic summary for like each of the chapters essentially through my notes almost like an outline that was really interesting wow okay i am ready for this rewrite I'm gonna eat some apple crisp first, and then I might even start this tonight, which is so freaking exciting. That will not be included in this video. I will be doing rewriting vlogs because this is going to be a whole process that I really want to document for myself. But all right, that's it for me today, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Sarah Lebrot. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up because it really supports my channel by telling the YouTube algorithm that you liked my video and that someone else might too. If you have not already, make sure you scroll down below, hit that big red subscribe button and that little notification bell next to it so that you do not miss any my future uploads. I post videos twice a week on Mondays and Thursdays and do live streams on the weekends. So I will see you guys next time with another video. Bye!